Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Rainbow Six Siege running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U and the 5600U. So this is a comparison of the two systems. They aren't completely identical, of course. One is the HP Pavilion 15 and the other one is the HP Pavilion Aero 13. So there are some slight differences with cooling, but outside of that, the amount of RAM and speed are exactly the same. And of course, we're going to be taking a look at this at the stock 15 watt TDP of both of these chips. So at the stock 15 watt TDP with the lowest graphical settings, you can see here that the game is actually performing slightly better on the 5600U, which is to be expected, I guess. But you'll see that it's not a substantial difference at all. We're talking about a handful of FPS. And I really don't think that four to five FPS is really going to make that big of a difference in this game. It's really not going to be a game changing experience experience it is an overall improvement though it is a welcome one at least if the 5625u is actually going to start to replace the 5500u in these lower budget systems so far i have yet to see a 5625u system that actually has been hitting some pretty budget prices that are mostly all hovering around the 650 and above price range so it has been difficult to find one under 500 dollars. once that actually happens that's when it's actually going to be competing with the 5500u here but you could see that as the benchmark finishes here at the stock 15 watts the performance was very much comparable at the 25 watts of the 5500u compared to the 15 watts of the 5600u though you can see that we can actually close the gap here and it actually performed better now i have to preface that the arrow 13 does not let me raise the tdp of the 5600u to 25 watts it pretty much has a hard limit of 15 watts so what this is really demonstrating to us here is just what the uplift is by raising the tdp and also so what the performance is being left on the table here essentially by not being able to raise the TDP of the 5600U. And it's unfortunate that you have to do so much research to actually understand what the system that you're going to be getting is actually going to be capable of. But you can see here that overall it's a playable experience all around, but definitely the 25 watts is going to allow you to have a little bit better of a high FPS gaming experience. But really the biggest improvement of the 5600U at the stock setting is just that it will keep things within the free sync range and the performance is perfectly playable but while not as big of a win as valorant was for the 5600u it's definitely a win here at the stock 15 watts so while it's not a generational improvement it is at least an improvement but i hope you found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe and i will catch you in the next one